Hi, welcome to my channel. Brad Wardle, call sign Captain Wingnut from Cougar Ridge Ranch high in the Uinta Mountains of eastern Utah. This is part four in my five-part series of killing, crawling, flying, and biting insects. This video, I'm going to show you how to kill flying insects anywhere, inside or out. You can even kill in the kitchen. You can even kill with open exposed food. You're going to, watch, you're going to want to watch my five killers video to learn about the chemical that we're going to use here, pyrethrin or permethrin, and understand why it is 100% safe for mammals and 100% deadly for most insects. So watch that. Watch the other videos in this series as well and learn about the other killers that are going to become your five favorite killers. And so let's get going. Let's go kill some flying insects. Before I forget, don't forget to subscribe and click the notify button so that you know when I release new videos. Before we get started, please understand that this is what I do. I'm letting you be a fly on the wall and watch and learn from somebody who's been around the park a few times, but everything in life requires that you take a personal initiative and use common sense in all that you do. So if you don't like what I do, that's no problem. Nobody's gluing your eyes to the screen. Just click away. If you do continue to watch, please use your common sense and figure out a way that it'll work for you. Just don't do it if it's against your personal views or ethics. Think before you act. You don't need to lecture me and the other flies on the wall here on why you personally think it's wrong. We don't care. Please keep that to yourself and we'll all have a wonderful time. All right, in this section I'm gonna show you how to quickly rid yourself of flying insects indoors and out. This method is not toxic to mammals but 100% deadly to insects. But be careful around fish tanks. It can harm fish. The manufacturers note that if you're going to spray around fish, cover the tank, and I'd probably leave the tank covered for 15 minutes after spraying. I have another video for dealing specifically with flies outdoors using two alternative methods. Here's a link to that video. I've put the link here and I'll put it in the description. Again, you're going to use aerosol pyrethrins or permethrin for this. You can buy aerosol cans like this, and you can buy the metered can that goes in an automatic room sprayer. I get the automatic sprayer at the $1 store, and I have to order the uh, metered cans of uh, permethrin. Don't set up an automatic sprayer where the mist could get to your fish tank directly or from fans or overspray. It'll kill your fish. This is totally awesome sauce because it shoots an occasional little shot of pyrethrum and any flying insect that happen to be in the area are toast. We keep one on the porch just outside of our door and it keeps all the flies that want to come in the house dead. They linger at the door waiting for somebody to open the door so they can come in and be cool and this goes off and they're toast. This is so powerful all you need to do is shoot a bit of this into the air and any insect that flies through it will be dead. You don't need to run them down and drown them. They just need to touch one little molecule of it and it'll kill them. This is the awesome sauce of bug killers. We have cans of this everywhere. And now keep a can of this or your own spray bottle that you make handy because I'm going to show you an awesome use that will blow your mind. To make your own 32 ounce quart spray bottle for just pennies, first get a good spray bottle that will last. Label it as to what it is. Then I put two teaspoons of permethrin concentrate in, fill it with water, shake it, and you're good to go. In part five, I'll show you how to turn your camping gear, clothing, bedding, and anything else you want into an instant killer. Almost all insects, especially the biting kind, including scorpions. 
Thanks for watching. I love making these videos to share with you what I have known for many, many years. Captain Wingnut, signing off.